Jean-Louis Trintignant, a distinguished actor of his era, stands out from his contemporaries for his nuanced performances and understated yet powerful screen presence. His ability to convey emotion with subtlety and authenticity sets him apart in a landscape dominated by more flamboyant styles. Trintignant's performances are marked by a rare sincerity that resonates with audiences, making him a memorable figure in classic Hollywood. Now, we're curious to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Keep watching as we'll be revealing many funny, shocking, and sad facts about him. Stay tuned for more insights into the life of this remarkable artist. Jean-Louis Trintignant, a distinguished figure in the realm of cinema, warrants celebration for his profound impact on the world of acting. Born in France, he ascended to prominence during a time when the cinematic landscape was undergoing transformative changes. His significance lies not only in remarkable talent, but also in the ability to adapt to the evolving narrative styles of his era. His career, spanning several decades, is characterized by a repertoire of roles that showcased exceptional acting prowess. Seamlessly navigating through various genres, he left an indelible mark on each character portrayed. Contributions to French and international cinema have solidified his place as a revered actor with performances that stand as a testament to dedication and skill. What sets Trentignan apart is the ability to convey depth and authenticity in roles. A nuanced approach to acting, marked by captivating subtlety, allow what audiences to connect with characters on a profound level. Whether portraying a conflicted lover, a troubled artist, or a determined detective, he brought a unique flair to each role, leaving an enduring impression on the cinematic landscape. In his time, he became a cinematic icon, celebrated for the ability to breathe life into diverse characters. His work continues to resonate with audiences, and the influence is evident in the generations of actors who follow Wood in his footsteps. His legacy extends beyond the screen, making him a figure worth acknowledging and celebrating for significant contributions to the art of acting. In conclusion, the impact on the world of acting by Jean-Louis Trintignant is undeniable. The ability to bring authenticity and depth to roles spanning a variety of genres solidifies the status as a cinematic legend. Celebrating these achievements allows us to appreciate the richness brought to the art of storytelling through film. Jean-Louis Trintignant, a seasoned actor with a career spanning several decades, has faced the relentless pressure of staying young in an industry that often values youth over experience. The entertainment world's unyielding demand for perpetual youthfulness places considerable strain on individuals like him. The constant scrutiny, expectations, and the ever-present need to conform to societal standards can be overwhelming. Beyond the superficial pressure to maintain a youthful appearance, he, like many others, grapples with the significant struggles inherent in the life of an actor. The challenges include navigating a competitive industry, facing rejection, and coping with the unpredictability of roles and projects. The emotional toll of embodying diverse characters, each with its unique demands, adds another layer of complexity to his journey. Moreover, he has weathered personal tragedies, including the loss of loved ones, which further magnifies the emotional burden he carries. The intertwining of personal and professional challenges creates a tapestry of experiences that shape his approach to his craft and life. Despite the pressure and struggles, his resilience shines through. His ability to endure the tests of time, both in the limelight and behind the scenes, is a testament to his dedication to the craft. The demands of the industry and the inherent struggles have not deterred him from leaving an indelible mark on the world of cinema. In conclusion, the pressure to stay young and the multifaceted struggles in the life of an actor like Jean-Louis Trintignant reflect the harsh realities of the entertainment industry. The constant balancing act between personal and professional challenges is a testament to his enduring commitment to the craft. Despite the difficulties, his journey remains a captivating narrative of perseverance and dedication in the face of an ever-evolving landscape. With a touch of humor, the suggested tombstone epitaph echoes Spike Milligan's famous phrase, I told you I was ill, showcasing a lighter side to the personality. In the realm of cinema, the pinnacle of the cinematic journey is marked by two exceptional works, The Conformist and Amour. Participating in 10 films competing for the Palmy d'Or at Cannes, notable mentions include A Man and a Woman and the award-winning Amour. Additionally, the film Z earned recognition with the Best Actor accolade. 
The cinematic legacy spans various genres, revealing versatility and a profound impact on the silver screen. Throughout the journey, notable achievements include securing the prestigious award at Cannes, showcasing the influence on the industry. The body of work stands as a testament to the enduring impact on cinema, leaving an indelible mark that transcends time. In collaboration with filmmaker Michael Hank, Jean-Louis Trentignant made noteworthy contributions that added depth to their cinematic endeavors. His involvement began with providing the voice for the narrator in the French edition of The White Ribbon, marking the commencement of a creative partnership. His influence extended beyond acting, playing a pivotal role in shaping the narrative of Hank's amour by suggesting its title. This collaboration underscored his ability to contribute not just through performance, but also in the conceptualization of projects. Delving into Trentignant's past, a significant anecdote emerges from the set of Il Sorpasso, where he engaged in extensive discussions with co-star Vittorio Gassman about portraying Hamlet on stage. Despite Gassman's prior experience in the role, Trentignant's interpretation of the Danish prince drew criticism from reviewers. These instances highlight his multifaceted role in the film industry, showcasing his impact not only as an actor, but also as a collaborator and contributor to the creative process. Such nuanced insights into his career provide a glimpse into the actor's journey, shedding light on the intriguing dynamics that shaped the films he was part of. Throughout his career, Jean-Louis Trintignant collaborated with his ex-wife Stéphane Audrin in three distinct films, Less Bitches, Without Apparent Motive, and Boulevard Death Assassins. Despite their professional partnership, their cinematic collaboration did not extend to the years they were married. Noteworthy is his participation in two Oscar-nominated films for Best Foreign Language Film in 1969Z and My Night at Maud's. This marked a significant moment in his career, aligning him with acclaimed works on the global stage. A brief hiatus in his acting pursuits occurred when he underwent military service in Germany, interrupting the momentum of his career. This period away from the cinematic spotlight adds a unique chapter to his professional journey. From navigating the complexities of relationships on and off screen to contributing to award-worthy films and facing interruptions due to military service, his career unfolds as a tapestry woven with diverse experiences. These instances, intricately linked to his personal and professional life, shed light on the actor's journey and his impact on the cinematic landscape. In 1969, Jean-Louis Trintignant left an indelible mark on cinema with his roles in two Oscar-nominated films Z and Amour. While Z secured the nomination for Best Picture, Amour clinched victory in the foreign language film category. The same year, his noteworthy performance in The Man Who Lies earned him the Silver Bear for Best Actor at the Berlin Film Festival. Interestingly, during the filming of The Sunday Woman in 1975, he, alongside Marcello Mastroeni, both set their sights on winning the heart of co-star Jacqueline Bisset. However, their attempts proved unsuccessful, a humorous anecdote recounted in his autobiography Du Cate Duzes. Amidst his cinematic achievements, the year 1968 stands out. While he appeared in Less Bitches, a film earning an Oscar nomination for Best Foreign Language Film, his ex-wife Stéphane Audrin received the Silver Bear for Best Actress at the Berlin Film Festival for her role in the same movie. These intriguing glimpses into his career reflect a blend of cinematic success and personal anecdotes, showcasing his impact both on and off the screen. Delving into his autobiography provides a unique perspective on the man behind the roles, adding depth to the narrative. In 1969, tragedy struck Jean-Louis Trintignant's family while on location in Rome. His daughter, Paulin, passed away as a baby during this time, casting a shadow over his personal life amidst cinematic pursuits. Renowned filmmaker Michael Hank held him in high regard, naming Trintignant alongside Marlon Brando as his favorite actor. Trintignant reciprocated the admiration, declaring Hank as the greatest director in the world. This mutual appreciation fostered a creative partnership with him not only contributing acting prowess, but also influencing the conceptualization of Hank's film Amour, even suggesting its title. His career, marked by personal tragedies and professional achievements, weaves a narrative that goes beyond the silver screen. The collaboration with Hank provides a unique lens into his creative process, showcasing his impact not just as a performer, but also as a collaborator in shaping cinematic narratives. 
This glimpse into his life and collaborations sets the stage for a deeper exploration of the man behind the roles, revealing the intricacies of his journey. Declining the lead role in Last Tango in Paris due to discomfort with numerous nude scenes, Trentignant made choices aligned with his values. Nominated for the 2006 Moliere Award for Best Actor for his stage performance in Moines 2, his versatility extended beyond the screen. Raised amidst the world of automobile racing, his affinity led director Claude Lee Louch to cast him as a race car driver in A Man and a Woman. These decisions shaped his career, reflecting a commitment to principles both on and off the stage. In the face of controversial scenes, his steadfast refusal to compromise personal boundaries echoes a commitment to authenticity. Recognition in the theater realm with a Moliere Award nomination demonstrated his ability to excel beyond cinematic boundaries. The seamless transition from real-life racing exposure to a film role in a man and a woman showcased a natural fit within diverse creative landscapes. Navigating the delicate balance between personal values and professional choices, his career emerges as a testament to principled decision-making. His journey unfolds beyond the confines of cinema, embracing the challenges and triumphs that come with adhering to one's convictions. The refusal of a significant film role and acknowledgement in theater underscore a career marked by authenticity and versatility qualities that set him apart in the world of entertainment. From rejecting explicit scenes to earning accolades on the theater stage, Trentignant's career encompasses a spectrum of decisions, each contributing to the narrative of an actor who carved his path with unwavering integrity. In the realm of cinema, Jean-Louis Trintignant collaborated with Emmanuel Riva beyond their acclaimed roles in Amour. Both actors were part of K.R. Zistov Kieslowski's Three Colors trilogy, with Riva appearing in Three Colors, Blue and Trintignant playing the leading male role in Three Colors, Red. His experience on the set of a man and a woman was marked by discomfort working with Anouk Aimé. He found her behavior aloof, expressing a preference for spending time with the child actors during the filming of the renowned movie. Tragically, Marie Trintignant, his daughter, and an accomplished actress, faced a devastating fate in 2D and 3. Married to director-actor Samuel Benchitrit at the time, she was fatally beaten by her jealous boyfriend, Bertrand Cantat, the lead singer of the group Noir Dacier. The incident, stemming from Cantat's outrage over a phone call from her husband, resulted in severe skull fractures, leading to a cerebral edema. Cantat was sentenced to eight years in prison for manslaughter, a sentence initially appealed by Marie's family but later cancelled. In the intricacies of his cinematic journey and personal life, Jean-Louis Trentignant's story unfolds, marked by collaborations, challenges, and heartbreaking tragedies.